Hey guys, my name is Joseph and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how we can control our Arduino board using Python with few lines of code. This tutorial will be divided into two parts. So uh, in the first part, I'll show you how we can send information to our Arduino board. And then I'll show you how we can get data from the sensors connected to the Arduino board using Python. So, as far as I can say, today's tutorial is very exciting. Oh yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, uh, let's begin. The only thing we need for now is our Arduino board, okay? Because I will be controlling the LED on our Arduino board by sending some commands on the serial communication and then we'll we'll see the the python code that we'll be using to control the same led so here i have the code this is the code i wrote and i call i call it led so i'm going to connect the the cable okay the usb cable and upload the code so before uploading the code you have to check the port okay okay mine is connected to this port now i can upload the code okay um, it's done uploading I'm going to open the serial monitor okay you can see you can see that it's saying type on to turn on the LED and off to turn off the LED. So I'm going to type on here. Once I type on, it should turn on the LED. And then I press enter. I'm going to type again. I type the wrong one because it should be this this way on the o should be like a capital a capital o okay so i'm going to type again on you see that the led is on if i type off the led is off so now let's see the python code that we'll be using to do the same the same the same work okay okay here we have the python code is also a very simple code the first thing i did was to import the, this library pi pi serial let me just comment here so that you can uh you use pip install Okay, use this command to install the library. Okay, so if you don't have this library installed, you just use this command here, pip install pi serial. You now you can open your CMD and then type the same pip install by Syrah and then press enter it's going to install this library and then I created a variable okay that will be responsible to uh, store the informations of our Arduino or all the informations of the serial coming communication between Python and the Arduino board and then we have here this function I called it LED and I gave an argument to it I and they call I called it data and then I said, if on is found in data, then it should on or turn on the LED. And if it's off found in data, then it should turn off the LED. And then here we have the the while loop that we we will be uh, typing the, the 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 data or the information to turn on or turn off the LED. So let me. Uh, save this and run it 
I'm going to run this Python file in terminal. Now it's okay. So type on to turn on the LED and off to turn off. So I'm going to type on. So once I press enter, it should turn on the LED. You see that the LED is on. If I type off, the LED is off. Okay, guys. So this is how we can control our Arduino. You can uh, instead of using the the instead of controlling the LED this one you can control uh, a relay or you can control a motor or something like that okay now uh, we're going to see how we can get data from some sensors using Arduino and Python okay uh, now that we have seen how we can control our Arduino board using Python now let's uh, start getting data from sensors, okay? So the first sensor I'll be using is this one, the ultrasonic sensor. So uh, this sensor is used to measure distance. Suppose that you want to m make a project in which you want to measure a certain distance, then this is the right sensor you can use for this project. So I'm going to make the connections. Remember that you can download all the files, the diagrams and the source code on my blog page okay the link is in the description so i'm going to make connections okay uh the connections are done okay now let's see the code okay this is the code we're going to to use you see that what what i did was uh to include this library a new ping you can also download and install this library and then i defined the two pins okay the two pins of the sensor for data one is trig and echo okay echo is connected to pin number to the port number two of the arduino board and trig is connected to the pin number three of the arduino board and here i define the maximum distance okay and i created an object from the library and i gave i gave to it all these informations the trig the echo and the maximum distance and then here on the in the setup function i initiate the serial communication and i printed this thing the distance from the sensor just to know that the values we are getting is the distance from the sensor and then uh, after running the code or after opening the serial monitor it's going to uh, have a small delay uh, and here i created this 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 uh, a variable uh, that will be storing the data the informations from the library and then here we have the distance and all this so it's a very simple code so let's uh, I'm going to upload this code and see how it's going to work okay uh, it's done uploading so I'm going to open the serial monitor and you see that it is measuring the distance okay i made a mistake sorry i forgot to connect the the power or to connect the this the sensor um five volts in gnd okay i forgot so now we can open the serial monitor and see that we're getting the distance see get, getting the distance from our sensor okay so I'm going to let's see the code in Python okay this is the code in Python it, it is a very simple code we did the same thing that uh, 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 we've done on, on the first on the first code I imported the library 
and then I initiated the serial communication and here we have a, a while loop okay so this is this code uh, actually you you can use it to read any values getting from the serial communication or the C for example uh, if you if you connected uh, if you've connected another sensor here and you're getting the, the data on serial monitor you can use this code without doing any 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 change to see the same the same values or the same information so i'm going to run this code and you see that we're getting the same information here okay we're getting the same information here so this is how you can uh, check or you can get the data from this sensor using python okay so i'm going to stop this and let's see another one okay let's see another sensor i'm going to to remove all these and i'm going to use this one here at the dht11 but you can use the one you have going to connect this power and GND 5 volts and GND and here I have a uh, okay GND and 5 volts And this one, this pin, it is for for data. Okay, I'm going to connect it in number six. So I'm going to open the Arduino code. Uh, the code I, 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 I've I've written for this project. Okay, this one, this eleven okay here we have the code and this code is also a, a simple code i included this library dht and then all these so take 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 your time okay take your time to study all these codes the the, the code is, is not that that hard that long so i believe you can get to understand all these codes so i'm going to upload this one I'm going to upload this one. Okay, and then I'm going to open the serial monitor. So, you see that we're getting the temperature and humidity. Okay, we have, you see that it's getting this. So, I'm going to open the same code we used for the this sensor okay i'm going to use that same code in python to read this information because we, that code the only thing it does is to read this same value from the values we're getting on the serial communication or, or here on the serial monitor to well we can use the same to to read the these values too so i can can just come here and and run this so you see we're getting temperature and humidity you see temperature is the same information we're getting there all right guys uh, this is the first part of this tutorial in the next video i'll show you how we can use the data we're getting from the sensors to do a certain task so please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the, no the notification button so so you don't miss the next video thanks for watching and see you next time